Hello, for this works problem, we've got a cantilever beam, which means it's fixed over at one end, uh, and we've got some force acting on the other end. Uh, and for this five meter long cantilever beam, we've got the six kilonewton force acting at a 20 degree angle, and we're asked to find the reactions uh, at point X. So with this fixed beam, uh, we're gonna do the equilibrium equations to find that reaction, those reaction forces. Uh, and with this, we start any equilibrium problem with our free body diagram. So we draw our beam. We know it's five meters long. Um, and we're going to separate it from the wall. That's part of the environment. So on our beam, we've got the one known force, six, six kilonewton force acting at a 20 degree angle. So here, six kilonewtons, and that just means 6,000 newtons. Uh, and I know that uh, I've got a 20 degree angle. Uh, I also know the whole thing is five meters long. It's gonna be important because this is an extended body where we're gonna have uh, both forces and moments since this is not concurrent. Uh, and at the other end, it's a fixed connection and that means there's three possible ways, uh, three possible reaction forces that we can have. So I'm going to have forces in the x, or sorry, a force in the x, a force in the y, and also at this fixed connection, I can have a moment reaction. So I'm going to draw in my moment, like so, and label that m. So here I've got three, uh, just one connection point, but three unknowns. Forces in the y, or force in the y, force in the x, and then moment. So now I need to, now I've got my free body diagram, I need to start drawing out the equations of equilibrium. So I do this one at a time. First I do some of the forces in the X. And here I've got this FX force that I drew in. Uh, and then I've got a component of this triangle over here. So this part right here, be the, the horizontal component, uh, and this would be the, the vertical component. And of course for this, uh, I'm using the kind of traditional X and Y coordinate system. All right, so FX positive, and then this component of the vector uh, is going to be minus, because it's going in the negative X direction, six times the sine. Of 20. And I can think about this triangle, this would be the opposite side of the triangle from my angle. So that is going to be equal to 0. Next, I go on to sum of forces in the y. So for sum of forces in the y, I've got my reaction force, Fy. And I've got a negative component of this vector here, so minus 6 times the cosine of 20. And that'll be equal to 0. And then finally, I need to take the moment. So sum of moments. And I need to choose a point. So I've got really two options. I've got side A or side B. Uh, since I've got so many unknowns over here, it's usually useful to take the moment about a point where you have a lot of unknowns. So A and B, and I'm going to take the moment about point A. So the unknown forces, Fx and Fy, since they're acting through that point, they're not going to create any moment. Uh, but this over here, um, this is going to create a moment. So we can think about it in two ways. We can either find the perpendicular distance uh, for this moment, or I can look at the x and y components of this force. And so the x component of this, it's still acting through point A. It's not going to exert a moment, uh, but the y component is. Um, so, and then finally, the last thing I have in this equation is actually the moment at the reaction point. So that is a positive moment, the way I drew it in. Uh, that will be the first thing I add. And then uh, the y component here is going to cause a negative moment in this direction. Um, so the distance is five meters. It's a negative, like I said, 
uh, distance is 5 meters, and the y magnitude we had before uh, was this 6 times the cosine of 20. This is equal to 0 as well. All right, let's move this board out of the way. We've got three equations. Uh, and we've got three unknowns, fx, fy, and m. So we should be able to solve for all of these. And it's actually pretty simple. There's only one unknown per equation. So fx will be equal to 6 times the sine of 20 degrees. fx ends up being equal to uh, 2.05 kilonewtons. And so remember the units in the beginning, this is 2.5, or sorry, we had 6 kilonewtons here. So I've got 6 point, or 2.05 kilonewtons, which I could really rewrite as uh, 2,050 newtons of force. So that's one reaction force I have here. Next I move on to y. Force on the y is simply equal to 6 times the uh, cosine of 20. I can solve that out. That gives me an answer of uh, Fy is 5.64 kilonewtons. And then finally, I need to solve for this moment here. So m is going to be equal to uh, 5 times 6 cosine of 20. And I need to be careful with units in this case. Uh, so this is, remember, 5 meters. And this is 6 is 6 kilonewtons. So if I solve this out, I get m is going to be equal to uh, 28.19. And the units are going to be kilonewton meters. And so with that, I solve for all my reaction forces. Uh, all the positive numbers here mean that the direction, so fx is actually going in that direction, fy is actually going up, and the moment is a positive moment. So all the directions, I guess, were correct. Uh, and it's also important to remember this kilonewtons, uh, or kilonewton meters, is a, um, a unit that just means 1,000 newtons. So with that, I solve for all my unknowns at the reaction point A. Uh, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you again.